Raise your hand if you've ever been told butter will kill you. Raise your other hand if you secretly ate it anyway. Congratulations, you're probably healthier than you think. Today we're diving into a study that could save your relationship with butter and bacon. Yes, we're putting Ansel Keys' heart hypothesis head to head with the little known Minnesota coronary experiment. By the end of this video, you'll not only feel good about steak and eggs, but understand why sugar, not saturated fat, deserves the blame. Hit that like button, subscribe, and tell me which foods that are high in saturated fat that you would miss if you couldn't enjoy them. So let's go back to the 1950s. That's when Ansel Keys told the world that saturated fat and cholesterol clog arteries like grease in a drain pipe. He launched the seven country study to prove his hypothesis linking fat to heart disease. And the world, well, we fell for it. The problem, Keyes cherry picked data from only seven countries, ignoring others that didn't fit his theory. It was a classic case of confirmation bias. Imagine blaming your car's engine trouble on bacon grease because your family likes eating bacon when you take family trips. And as ridiculous as that sounds, that's basically what Keyes did. And as you've learned from my channel, association does not equal causation. Now let's talk about the Minnesota coronary experiment. This was a randomized controlled trial which shows cause and effect and is scientifically more robust than Keyes' observational study which only shows possible correlation and possible association. Conducted between 1968 and 1973, it tested what happens when you replace saturated fats with vegetable oils. The results? Participants who ate more vegetable oils actually had lower cholesterol. But here's the kicker. They actually had a higher mortality rate. Yep, you heard that right. Lower cholesterol didn't save lives, it seemed to cost them. So, so let's get this straight. They told us to trade butter for margarine and we were rewarded with a higher mortality rate. Now that's a swamp I don't think any of us are interested in making. You've heard the commercial, I can't believe it's not butter. Me, I can't believe people are still saying I can't believe it's not butter. Especially after the Minnesota study showed margarine consumption will actually shorten our lives, not lengthen it. While Key's study painted a simplistic picture, fat equals bad, the Minnesota study looked deeper. It measured actual outcomes. Who lived, who died, and why. And here's where it gets a little spicy. The data from the Minnesota study was buried for decades. Yes, you heard me. This study, which could have rewritten dietary guidelines, was put on the shelf because its findings didn't support the anti-fat narrative, hidden from you and hidden from me. Meanwhile, sugar's role in heart disease stayed in the shadows. So if saturated fat isn't the bad guy, who is? Enter sugar. The Minnesota study and others like it revealed that sugar, not fat, drives inflammation, insulin resistance, and heart disease. The real enemy isn't butter. It's not the fat on the ground beef. It's not coconut oil. It's that sneaky little teaspoon of sugar you put in your coffee or tea. Turns out the sugar industry was like a bad magician, distracting you with fat while quietly sipping sugar into everything. Here's the takeaway. The Minnesota coronary experiment exposed the flaws in Key's hypothesis and cleared saturated fat's name. The real culprit, sugar. It's time we start fearing butter and start questioning the sugar in our diets. Not just for you and me, but for our friends and family as well. So if this video gave you food for thought, share it with someone who still thinks I can't believe it's not butter or any other margarine products will extend their life. And if you want to keep busting nutrition myths with me, hit subscribe and join the fight for metabolic truth. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time for lunch and I got a date with some delicious lamb cooked in bacon grease. I'll see you in the next video.